Jacob here. I've got another little morsel of movement medicine for you. Today, the 10 minute session will focus on um, hips, hip mobility, which will tie into legs and low back. Of course, you can't really work one part of the body without affecting the rest. So, um, yeah, let's get started. It'll be handy to have two blocks for this, especially if you're a little newer to uh, a movement practice. We're just gonna be leaving those basically at the top of the mat. And also, um, if you have a, a dowel or a stick or something, you could use that. It's just gonna help with balance. Begin standing at the top of your mat. So you're gonna be about hip width apart. That's usually about two fists if you put them together. Toes all point forward. And we'll take a nice big breath in. Draw the shoulders up towards the ears. Inhale, inhale, inhale. And as you exhale, roll the shoulders down and back and relax them. Breathe out. Let's do that a couple more times. Inhale, shoulders come up to the ears. Exhale, roll them down and back. Relax the neck, the forehead, the eyes, the shoulders. One more time. Inhale, bring the shoulders up. Exhale, pull them down. And then just a few times in the other direction. Try to focus on only nose breathing in this class. Good. And then side to side, other direction. Very nice. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Palms touch at the top, maybe gaze up slightly and stretch back. Hips press forward. Exhale, dive forward. Hands are gonna find the blocks or fingertips will dust the earth. Whatever feels good. If your fingertips are on the earth, press down, traction them towards the feet. Lengthen your spine, long neck like you're holding a grapefruit under your chin. Exhale, fold, just drape your torso over your legs. Inhale, come up halfway again. Hands to your blocks if you have them handy. Shift all your weight into your left foot. Step the right foot back. Lower the right knee down. So you at, are at about 90 degrees with the front leg, 90 degrees with the back leg. Hands to blocks here, maybe shift your left foot a little bit more over towards the left so that you have a little bit of space between your legs. And then lean forward so your left knee is gonna come over your left toes and you're getting a nice stretch in the front of the right leg. Keep the right toes tucked under. Exhale, pull the hips back, lift the left toes and keep reaching your heart towards your left big toe. Breathe in and breathe out, come forward. Take another breath in here. Lift the heart away from your left knee, but keep anchoring through the feet and pulling them towards one another. Exhale, glide the hips back, lift the left toes, bow over your front leg as best you can, but keep pulling the, the tailbone back. Inhale, come forward. And then exhale, realign yourself into that 90 degree leg position. From here, you're gonna lift the back foot and squeeze the heel towards the glutes. Tug your low belly in, and then maybe you can bring your hands to your knee. And if you're using a dowel instead of blocks, you'll just hold it out in front of you like this to keep yourself sturdy. You should probably be feeling a burn in that right hamstring area. Keep pulling the heel towards the hips for three, two, one. Lower the back foot down and then glide the hips back. Lift the front leg. You can even let your bum drop to the right heel if that feels okay. Okay, we're going to come forward again. You're going to pivot your back foot down and lift it up into like a warrior two leg. And then you're gonna shift your weight, your round blocks are handy here. So your left toes are gonna point to the top right corner of the mat, right toes lift, come into Skandasana, Ardha Skandasana. And if that's not accessible, you'll just use your blocks, stay, get as low as you can, sticking your butt back. Okay, now we're gonna drop the right foot, shift over to the other side, left toes lift, Hips sink down towards the right heel. Good, come back up. 
into a wide leg fold, walk your blocks back around, point all your toes to the front of the mat, drop the right knee down, let the left knee shift over the front toes, and then glide the hips back, drop your torso over the left leg. Inhale, come forward, now we're going to shift into that skandasana position, right toes lift, left toes point towards the right corner of the mat. And this time we're gonna walk all the way to the back of the mat, repeat the sequence. Left knee lowers, wiggle the right foot over towards the right hand a little bit. And if you don't need blocks for this, you don't have to use them, it just makes it a bit more accessible. Okay, shift forward, right knee goes beyond the right toes. Exhale, glide the hips back, lift the right toes, bow your torso over the right leg, rooting down through the heel. Inhale, come forward, heart lifts away from the knee, feet anchored down and pull towards one another. Exhale, hips glide back, right toes lift. Inhale, come forward, align yourself in that 90-90 position, press into your block, lift the back foot, heel squeezes in towards the glutes, maybe the hand comes to the right, the hands come to the right knee, Maybe you use your dowel, maybe you keep your hands on your blocks, but we're holding here, keep squeezing, 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 for three, for two, for one. Lower the back foot down, hands find the blocks, glide the hips back, lift the front toes, bow, exhale, inhale, come forward, knee, toe, knee over toes, and then exhale, we're gonna pivot. Right toes point to the back, left corner of the mat. Left knee lifts, come onto the heel, skandasana. Take a breath in, and exhale, shift skandasana to the other side. Left toes land, right toes lift, hips sink to left heel as best as you can. Blocks are there for support. Inhale, come back. Skandasana on the other side. Walk your blocks back around. All toes point to the back of your mat. Left knee lowers. Right knee shifts beyond the right toes. Exhale, hips pull back. Bow over your right leg. Inhale, come up to 90-90. Lift the back toes. Walk yourself around to a wide-legged fold. So all your toes are pointing to the long edge of the mat now. Press into your block, inhale, reach your butt back, the crown of your head forward, squeeze your belly in towards your ribs and your hips to get even more length out of the spine, and then exhale, fold. Keep squeezing your inner legs towards one another, you can ditch the blocks if you want. Again, inhale, whether fingertips are on the earth or hands are on blocks, inhale, Press down through the outer edges of your feet, squeeze energy up through the inner lines of the legs, and then stretch your torso long, back of the neck really long. Exhale, fold. One more time, inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, walk your blocks to the top. Step forward with your right foot to meet the left, and fold over your legs. Grab onto opposite elbows, wiggle your feet, at least hips width apart, bend the knees generously, and then just wiggle your spine around, nod your head yes and no, and shift side to side. And then bend your knees again generously, hands are gonna come to the hip creases. Inhale, press into the feet to come up nice and slow. Your next inhale reaches the arms up nice and high. Palms touch, stretch up and away, root down through the feet. Exhale, palms together in front of the heart. Close the eyes, take a full breath in. And a full breath out. And there you have it. I hope that you're feeling energized and a little bit more mobile in the hips and the spine, back this class with another one if you feel like doing a little bit more movement. 
or come back again tomorrow and try this one or another one.